What is up my shred heads? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm here with Bomber Marv. We're up? headed up to Spark Cycles in Brantford, Connecticut, and we will see you when we get there. <laughs> Finally pulling in. We're at Spark Cycle Works, guys. I'm like so super excited to meet these guys. Look at all these e-bikes. Are you stoked? We are here. Yeah, man. I can't believe it. <laughs> There's the bandit in real life. Look at that. First time touching it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what up? Hey, how's it going? We finally on? made it. Okay, yeah, we lost a <laughs> mirror on the way, but. <laughs> How'd you lose your mirror? It just fell off. <laughs> he saw it shaking and all of a sudden like he touches it and it just hey, goes Phew, just went flying dude what's up dude how are you doing good to see you good to see you nice to meet you hi i'm eddie hi Aaron. nice to meet you marv awesome <laughs> damn look at all those batteries yeah no range anxiety right there <laughs> Right, oh, we got the dual battery, dual motor. Oh my god, yeah. dude, I love the green spring, yeah. it's so sick. <laughs> dude, I'm excited to ride that. Oh my god, my heart's like full of joy right now. <laughs> yeah, finally. Oh my god, <laughs> love this site. I just love seeing e bikes all over yeah. the place, dude. It's fun, right? This is so awesome. Yeah, these are a few wow. troopers. Actually, these are really, yeah. this one's really cool. This one's, so basically anytime anybody sends an order to us, it's never just like, I bought a bike and I'm done and shipping it out. It's always like somebody buys it and then five seconds later, they send us an email with like 50 things they want done to it. Yeah. Right, right. So, and that, that That's just keeps so on going cool. on all the way until the bike is shipped. This one, um, this was an early one. This is a very old bike actually, but it uh, has a dual battery in there. So there's a battery that mounts underneath this whole oh, section. Oh, wow. And then a battery that mounts in this whole section. Oh my you can God. see these are all this Yeah, yeah. Yep. So that thing, I mean, so that'll have one of the 44 amp hours of battery. Yeah, okay. Nice. So, so sick. It sounds like a lot, but when you're riding... We saw these hills everywhere. We're like, oh, this, yeah. we're not getting the you Delaware mean, range here. Yeah, definitely <laughs> oh. not. Dude, I love that big ass freaking sprog in the front. So that's, nice. That's definitely one of our trademarks. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. What's cool is you can pedal and actually contribute at like 30 to 30. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Save so. some battery. Yeah, there's more bars. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, nice saddle bag. That's sick. Yeah. That's, that's really a, cool. That was a, a funny one. So this guy's like six, six foot. Three, six, four, gigantic. Oh, this is the one you made a uh, higher. Okay. Well, ever since we did that one, actually, we keep on getting these giants wanting our stuff. So yeah, yeah. We don't have a tall seat yet. It's something I'm, I'm trying to finish. But yeah. Okay. To try to get it done right now is impossible. So the best I could say was like, look, dude, I can put these really yeah. ugly, ugly things on there. Yeah. It's not going to look great. You're going to look like you're on like a porch. This is a, um, a Gen 1 Trooper. Oh, okay. Nice. So, yeah, this is... You can see this is not our, our battery. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a 52 volt in here. So when you put a 52 on a bandit, it actually will hit about 45 to 50. It's terrifying. Should wow. Not, it should not be yeah. <laughs> yeah, we get this question all the time of like, why don't you put a 52 in it like a grizzly? Fast. And we're just like, dude, we don't understand. Yeah. yeah. The power. This, this is 250 watt. Okay. So this, this is basically like one. Yeah, yeah. So these are basically like, if somebody that came in was like, I've been a biker my whole life. I don't really want an e-bike, but I just want something to help me get up hills. Yeah, yeah. It's so light though. I love that. So you need- That's the, that's the best one. You can put this on a freaking rear wreck. <laughs> Very nice entry point bike. Yeah. It has a uh, thumb throttle on it, which is awesome. <laughs> this is pretty sick. <laughs> Not bad, man. Yeah. Ride really good. Not bad for a 250 bike. <laughs> yeah. And like you're just gonna pedal this one, really. I dig it. So what's the name of this bike? So this one is the Outlaw. Oh, the so Outlaw. We have the Outlaw oh, nice. and the Rambler. Okay. And you know, 
there used to be this whole like step through is like a women's bike. This is right. like right. It's not at all how this world is anymore. Outlaw on the Rambler. <laughs> yeah. And that's a 750 watt too, just like this one. Yeah. I like it though, man. It pick up good. Yeah. It does. Watch the water. You're gonna get spray back. We're actually going to bring some of these back with us, guys. So if you're interested in any of these bikes, hit us up. Let me know down in the comments or message me through Instagram. We may be carrying these at Lewis Cycle Sports here, that bike shop I always go by. Riding through the grass. It's got the torque. <laughs> I dig this. Dude, yeah, people would love this for the beach, man. Yeah. Is this a bike to, like, go to the beach? Yeah. Uh, that's really what it is. So this one, I did a, custom, a couple of custom ones for, um, for the ride on Sunday. Yeah. I'll let you take this one out. It's kind of, it's like horribly uncomfortable. Oh, really? <laughs> well, because it's so oh, the cool. lean, yeah. But he actually likes that cafe, yeah, like, I'm lean. Cool. It's got a TFT 750 on it. The, the display. display. Yeah. yeah Those like, are my favorite. I like them. I was going to say, I love these displays. Th that display is like my favorite one out of all of them. Yep. Yeah. So this bike, I didn't finish wiring up the light, but normally you would just have your light. Right. The big thing about, uh, this is a whole other video to be honest with you but we we changed all the electronics out okay to be um 12 volt everything's running on 12 volt okay um, except for like you know the motor and everything right right so the turn signals headlight rear lights all this is running on 12. okay and the reason is it's completely compatible with motorcycle stuff right right this is programmed so that you can use throttle with zero assist okay it's a little thing yeah um but it makes a big difference. I always start people on zero pedal assist who are knowing what they're doing. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Just, say, just treat it like a scooter. I like to feel. Comfy? Yeah, I like it. If you think that's comfy, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Because <laughs> for me, it's like I can ride that for like two miles. <laughs> and they're... Dude, I like it, yeah. <laughs> Go rip it. <laughs> I think it's freaking awesome. Um, the next version of the Bandit is, there's very few differences. But one that we are going to be adding that we've wanted to do from the beginning is a center kickstand. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. The bikes weigh quite a bit, and having all this weight on this kickstand. Putting a lot of weight on there, yeah. You basically have to, like, say you should adjust your kickstand, you know, once a month or so. Because uh, okay. It's a lot of weight on that size. Yeah. But these are yeah. just, like, all we could get from our suppliers, you know. Part shortages have been... Ridiculous, yeah. Can't wait to try that dual one, guys. Oh my God. First time on the bed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that torque. <laughs> oh, wow, guys. Yeah, this is a moped. What? This actually feels really stable and very solid. Feels like a freaking motorcycle, guys. <laughs> wow. Very awesome build. Oh man, if this has that much torque, I can imagine how much torque the dual motors is gonna give us. I love the customization that you can do with it with more battery, dual motor. I was just talking to him about like how much torque it has and all this kind of stuff. And what you gotta keep in mind is like, we have limitations. Right. We have to keep within a legal limit. Right. So you can only, you can only squeeze so much torque out of 1500 watts. Right. Yeah. You know? Or else like, get two miles range yeah, yeah. You know? right right no doubt it's it's this balancing act of how do we make it fun and, and right. make it so that there's a good enough time before you go to a motorcycle yeah this will suffice for a long time it's like bmx bars yeah. within a uh, bmx standard um they were all supposed to be like that and we got shipment of the wrong handlebars oh so okay great. we've had so many fun issues I like it. It's but good having them raised though. Like. The BMX is the way to go. Um, we put the display down low because we know people love to put a phone or right. water bottle. Right. Yep. So. Okay. So this is Gen 1? This is the first one we built. Oh, wow. Woo. <laughs> so this one has some funny things going on. Don't use the, <laughs> don't use the horn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you use the horn and you're throttling at the same time, it'll take too much voltage away from the seat. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, it is converted to a single speed. Like, this is my personal bike. Right? Wow. So I yeah. converted to a single speed because I was going off-road a lot on it. And oh. I hated chains popping off. Right, right. The bouncing. Uh, these brakes are not standard. 
They're Magura, they're very expensive brakes. Oh yeah. So this is gonna feel very different because of this, the tires. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Really the tires. Knobby. Anyway. Oh wow. <laughs> Dude, guys, that's so crazy how like, it's the same bike, but it feels totally different just from a tire change. So this is a Gen 1 Bandit. I'm digging it. Oh, <laughs> almost died. Yeah, you can feel the little bit of sluggishness. The treads actually add. It's nice having these side view mirrors too, guys. Look how big they are. Actually useful. <laughs> Gotta ride through the grass. <laughs> oh, wow. The suspension is awesome. <laughs> Definitely digging this, guys. So, the Bandit was never designed to be an off-road bike. Right, right. It just, like, it was a pure street bike. Like, it's not at all what we're doing. So Straight moped. We just wanted to see, like, well, what happens if we do bring it off-road? Right. You know? Yeah. And so, we've just been hammering this thing, <laughs> as you can tell. Yeah. That's the 1500 watt, so you got, got 2200 combined. Got oh, wow. And, okay. then, and then, so if you really want the max out of it, you can do both throttles and pedal at the same time. Oh, the got dual it. throttles, guys. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be okay. weird getting used to the system, but yeah, yeah. we think I might be biased. I just love having control of both. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. You can do a little bit of throttle on the front. Exactly. Okay. Go rip it, dude. <laughs> Actually, do you want to see something real quick while he's doing it? Yeah. You want to come inside? Yeah, for sure. Don't walk Caution. <laughs> Everything is green. Yeah, yeah. So if you walk around, you'll just see it on the ground covering your plate right now. Oh, wow. That is cool. No freaking way. So you're on such a small enough volume now that like, you can literally just use this little tiny laser cutter to do each bin plate. Wow. That is so neat. I've never seen one of those in person. So that's your VIN plate right there. That's awesome, dude. Every bin is unique, and that way, like, we need to be able to make them on site. Right. I can't just send an order out to have a bin plate made and then wait a week to have it come back, you know? Thanks, Rips. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it rips. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, look at the headlights. Some things are bright in the daytime. All right, the dual, dual motor. Oh, my God. Whoa. Do front motor early? Rear motor, dual motor. Whoa! <laughs> I almost got rocked here earlier. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. See ya. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, guys! Having the control of the throttles, like. <laughs> That is so sick, dude. Very comfortable. Oh, more bandits. It's Colin, I think. <laughs> hey, there's Colin. What's up, brother? <laughs> That's so sick. <laughs> dude. Man, dual motor, dual battery. VIN number, you can get this thing registered, ride it in the freaking roads. This is awesome. These handlebars are super comfy. They are. Yeah. Very comfortable. Those are cool looking too, how like small they are, yes. but I like these ones because they're a little bit higher. Have you ever had anyone register it yet? Uh, yeah, we've had quite a few in New York. Oh, nice, dude. Yep. You want to race? <laughs> Honestly, like I think this thing holds its own. Really yeah? Well. This Grizzly is still rock and roll. Did you try pedaling at higher speeds? Actually, no, I haven't even tried pedaling it. Let me give it a whirl. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you kidding me? There's so much, like you could actually pedal these at high speed and you can feel the resistance on it. Check this out, guys. He's got like a little trailer you can attach to the back of it. Like if you go on group rides, which is awesome, you can carry extra batteries or people's book bags, backpacks, whatever you want. This is so cool. This trailer by Schwinn? Yeah. I Dude, I would highly recommend this thing. Yeah. It's like under a hundred dollars on Amazon. I think it's rated for 150 pounds. Really? It clips right there. I could sit in this if it wasn't zip tight. Oh really? Yeah, 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 it's crazy. It's steel. So Holy crap. 
I mean, for somebody doing like Uber Eats or something. Yeah. Like that, yeah. Stack it up. <laughs> so the kit. So as you know, the whole um, the controller is right in here. Oh. So built in. The, the controller is built right in. Oh, nice. So that's built in. So it's not like. Have you ever gotten an e-bike kit before? You get like and the you controller get a whole bunch box. Of wires. Yeah. You got to deal with a bunch this of. Is it. Yeah. Yeah. So you got this. And then it goes to the front motor, and then you got another line that just goes to here. To turn the system on, you just turn the battery on. That's oh, it. That's it. Dig it, dude. So we had to make it as simple as possible. So right. you could put it on a Super 73. You could put it on a juice bike. Yeah. Do whatever. Dude, yeah. people are going to go crazy over that. You know? All right, here we go with the trailer. Let's just see what it feels like. I can't even tell. It's on there. I'm like kind of scared to go fast, but yeah, let's do it. Screw it. <laughs> guys, I hope you're enjoying the video so far today. And, and again, like I said, if you guys are interested in any bike from Spark Cycle Works, check out the link down below. Use code TREY to get $100 off. I can't even tell anything's back there. That's yeah. sick, dude. This to me is like the ultimate like New York City cargo setup. Yeah, like, dude. You got to go get groceries. On yep. The other side of the city or something like that like can't beat it man all right all so right. we're gonna go check out some trails right quick it's a little quick thing so what's really nice about the facility like i said before is we can take people you know on on the e-bikes on the pavement they can get them up to speed and that's really great but we basically created this little trail where if we go around the turn we can get out on the dirt so if somebody has a mountain bike or something like this it's great right right <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that was awesome. I've been having such a fun day hanging out at Spark. Matt and Colin, awesome people. Everybody at work there is awesome, guys. So if you guys are ever in the Brantford, Connecticut area, definitely check out Spark. Hang out with those guys. Try out all their e-bikes. Man, what a great company, guys. That was hella fun. <laughs> We're having an awesome day so far here at Spark. So we got the best pizza in America here. Frank Pepe. I should just had a, a clam pizza. Pretty darn good, a white pizza with clams on it. Never had it before. Well, pretty darn good. <laughs> First time ever having clam pizza. <laughs> I like their pepperoni because they like, they put a layer of pepperoni under the cheese. Oh, well. that's right. a good idea. Cheers. So guys, today we had a pretty awesome time with Matt. Matt, thank you so much for showing us around. They're gonna put us to work tomorrow. So we will see you guys in the morning. Yeah. <laughs>